Hi there. We're going to talk about using screen bottom boards and sticky papers for monitoring mites in our colonies. Now let's show you how that that's works and set up. We'll have a look at the bits and pieces. So here we're uh, at one of our hives that's set up with a screen bottom board on it. Uh, the bottom board is down here. It's a normal bottom board, but our bottom boards are cut so they're flush with the box. And then we have a frame here as a screen built into it. I'll show you how that what that looks like. There's the normal bottom board. It would normally be positioned like this with the entrance going out that way. And to set this up, what we do is we turn that around. And then on top of that, we put our screen bottom board. And we put that in a way that the entrance is facing this direction. So that's still the entrance now. And then in, we insert a piece of masonite that acts as a tray in here. So that tray stays in there all the time and it collects debris that falls down onto that. When we want to be testing for veromite levels, we put our sticky paper in here. We'll show you how to prepare that sticky paper in a moment. But that sticky paper goes in and sits on top of this tray in there and then we close that up. Again, all that's happening down here on the bottom of the hive. So when we want to monitor our mites, we can put that in, we leave it in for three days, we pull that out, and then we count the mites. We can then determine, we divide by three, and so we can calculate a daily mite fall with that. So these screen bottom boards have some uh, advantages. Once they're set up on a hive, you can monitor for mites at any time, uh, quite simply. Uh, there's, it's non-destructive, you don't have to kill any bees to, to do this testing. And for our research purposes, we are able to monitor how effective our miticides are on a daily basis. We can co constantly be replacing these every three days and then we know uh, how well the, the, mites, the miticides are working in a colony. So there's some real uh, advantages to having this set up. Uh, we have plans for constructing these on our website. They're also on the Ontario Beekeepers Association uh, website. Very simple little device. Now let's have a look and see how we prepare these sticky boards. Nancy's going to show us how we prepare our sticky papers and uh, what materials we use. Hi. So first of all, we use a, a file folder that's the lightest color. This is manila that we can find because we want to have a good contrast between the mites, which are kind of a dark brown, and, and the paper. So this is important, first of all, to have the right color of um, file folder. It's a messy job, so you want to make sure that you've got something set up that's protecting your surface. And, uh, and then we use a little tiny paint roller. These are available even at the dollar store. They're quite cheap. And then we're going to coat really thickly this entire surface with Crisco. And we've melted it here on a little heater. You can put, use a pot. We just use the simplest thing uh, possible. And this works really great for us. And so you're just gonna wanna coat this up. Looks good. So, the uh, do you do this just before you, you use them then, Nancy? Yeah. So we don't want to do this too early because we want to really make sure that the mites are sticking to this surface. The other thing that we're going to do is when we go out to the hive, we're going to be sure that we use some sort of identifier. Here we use numbers, but you can use the color of the hive or the location, whatever works for you. But it's really important to put that in a couple of different places, just in case it doesn't show up when you take it out. And you always want to use a pencil. Pen will, will uh, deteriorate over time and you can't read it. So Right. So it's not really sticky, it's just kind of gooey and the mites uh, stick to it somewhat. Yeah. Now we used to use insect uh, trap coatings. It was far too sticky. Everything was sticky, our phones, our, our door handles, this is much nicer to use. So Stephanie is going to uh, bring in a sticky paper here, just fresh out of a hive, and show you how we count them. Yeah, so when we collect a sticky paper, we leave them in for three days. When we take them out, 
They have quite a lot of debris that you'll have to sift through to find those mites. So when you bring them to your table, I like to use a pencil and make a grid to be able to keep track of what I'm counting. So just whatever size grid you're comfortable with. And then within each square I like to count up how many mites and if there are quite a lot of mites you can write down the number and you just start sifting through the debris. You may have to move around anything to get under to see where the mites are, but you just start counting. And what do you look for to differentiate the mite from all that debris? Yeah, so the mites are quite uh, shiny and very kind of hard looking as opposed to other debris that might be soft that you can poke with your pencil. They're going to be very oval and they may even have their legs still attached. So you want to look for anything that is that distinctly different than the rest of the debris. Right, so you count out each grid, write the numbers down, and then tally the whole group. Yes. That gives you your three day count, and then what do you do? And then once we've counted up the paper, we use um, this Excel sheet that we've printed out. Um, it has our information for the yards. So we have our yard uh, identifier, our colony number, the dates that we had them in and that we took them out. Uh, the number of mites that are on the entire page and then we divide by in our case three for the amount of days that it was in and then that will give you the mites per day in your colonies and those correspond to different uh, levels of acceptable mites that you could have. It's a pretty simple process, somewhat time consuming uh, but uh, it does give you a, re a real good snapshot there and uh, th this is the method that we use uh, most frequently for monitoring mites in our colonies. And coming up next we'll look at an alcohol wash method.